It's awesome. I love it. Earning your wings. There is no other experience like it. A lofty goal for any sailor. It's awesome. We love it. We try to fly as much as we can. From the Super Hornet to the Seahawk. Becoming a Navy aviator takes years of persistence and perfection. Every day is a blast. Like uh, other FA-18 student yeah, pilots, uh, Lieutenant Dan Palmer really spends months in the classroom and cockpit. But for the Alexandria native, yeah. some of the most taxing training so you ready? unfolds here. Yeah, so we don't enjoy it, but it's necessary training. We have to go through that every time. At the Aviation Water Survival Center, pilots endure grueling tests from escaping a downed aircraft and swimming lengthy laps to treading water. All under the watchful eye of a Iraq War veteran, Tom Alvarez. There you go. Oh, awesome. yeah. It's going to save your life. You want to make sure you go from point A, point B, point C. It all flows and it's going to give you the best chance of saving your life. This reporter was invited to take a dip for a taste of the demanding drills. Go! Weighted down wearing a flight suit, helmet, and boots, it was no Sunday swim. In fact, I struggled. We are here to build confidence and to make people feel more comfortable in the water. In the pool, they're able to simulate real life conditions pretty well. Lieutenant Ross Herzler pilots helicopters. We train in the maritime environment and then we operate in the maritime environment. The Richmond native says the training is hard, but that's the point. We get used to the to walking around in the gear or sitting in the helicopter with our gear on, but it's a whole different feeling in the water uh, when it's when you're trying to stay afloat. Pilots must also crawl underwater unlatch windows and break out. Attempting this blindfolded was bewildering. It is no joke. It, it's always going to win in the end, but we can kind of evade it for a little bit in order for us to get rescued. Instructors even mimic an open water rescue. Sailors plucking pilots out of the sea to an awaiting helo above. One of the most challenging tests. Come on up, take a seat alongside the ledge. A metal monster with a reputation. So put seven and eight and put one of them in seat three and then fall, you just kind of go wherever. If you're claustrophobic or get motion sick, you ready? The dunker Kinda. is not for you. Take a deep breath. The dunker plunges visitors into the depths and rolls over while you're buckled in. The longer you can keep yourself calm and think, the prolonged time that you have in order to save yourself. Outlasting the dunker. Okay, guys, come on out. Is one giant stroke toward earning your wings. But most importantly, a lesson in survival. All right, we got it. Good job, sir. There are eight aviation survival training centers across the nation, including the one we visited at Naval Station Norfolk. Navy aviators must renew their swim survival skills every four years to remain in the air. One sailor told me that enduring the tests is like going to the dentist and having your teeth pulled. I'm Greg McQuaid, CBS 6 News.